Hi guys, so today I will be showing you four different ways to create monograms in Cricut Design Space. So first I want to go over to images and then type for the SVG files that I'm looking for. So I'll use this flower and then I will also type in doily and I want this doily. And so please note that I do have the ownership on free. So all of the SVG files that I'm using in this tutorial are free. And then I want to click insert images. And so I'll just move these on my screen and make them a little bit bigger. And for this SVG, you can tell that there are multiple layers. So I want to ungroup and then I'm going to select all the layers that I don't want and delete those out. And so next I want to add my text and I will type in the words SVG. And as you can tell, my text is already in the monogramos font and that front font is from defont.com. So I'll just make that font a little bit bigger. And then what I want to do is to click the weld button. And once I click the weld button, I will make three different duplicates because I want each of these to be a, an individual letter. And so I'll start with this one. I will click the contour button. And then what you wanna do is select everything that you do not want to show. So I only want this first S and so I will select everything else that I don't want. And the alternative would have been to click hide all contours and then just select this one that I wanna keep. I also wanna hide these circles in the background as well. And then I'll click the X button. And as you can see, only that S is left. And so the next thing I want is that middle V. So I'll go back over to contour and then I will hide all contours and just click that V in the middle to keep it. All right, and the last one is the G, so I will click contour, hide all contours, make sure that circle is selected also, um, and then I'll click the G, and then X. And so what I wanna do is make sure that these are aligned. So I will select all three of them, go to align and then center, center vertically. And then I'll just drag that to make it a little bit bigger. And if you wanna move your letters a little bit closer, you can use the left arrow key on your keyboard. And I think I like how I can move it a little bit closer. One more, okay. And then I just want to select all of that and group it just so that it all stays together. And so for this one, what I wanna do is change the color to pink. And so either you can choose this pink or you can choose a different font. I'll just come down here and I want a more darker pink. So I'll choose that one and I'll change my letters to hot pink. And then what you wanna do is make sure that everything is aligned here. So you wanna center horizontally and then center vertically. And so that one is done, but I also want to use the same font over here in this flower. So I will make a duplicate, drag it over, reduce the size, reduce the size a little bit more. Then you can change the color of your flower. And then again, you just want to make sure that it is aligned horizontally and uh, vertically as well. So both of these are done and I think those look really good. So the next thing that we wanna do is to make vine monograms. So I'll just type in SVG again, and then I'll come back up and I've already typed in M-O-N-O -O so that it can search that font. And this is the monogram KK SC font and that is also from defont.com. And so what I'll do is just make this a little bit bigger on my screen and then ungroup it. But I wanna make my V a little bit bigger because the middle font with these um, types of monograms are always bigger or the middle letter is always bigger. So I will just put 300 for this one. And 300 doesn't seem to be big enough. Let's try 350. That doesn't seem to be super big either, but I'll just keep going. So I will move these in closer so that they are connected. 
and my G looks a little bit taller than my S. So I'll just bring it down a little bit, bring it in some. And you can also, you know, select your S and your G and make them a little bit smaller as well, and then move them over to where you want them. And then just group these together. So what I tend to do is to group all of my finished designs together, just so that if I do go to move them, I won't mess up anything. And so the last font that, or monogram that we're going to make is a split monogram. And so I will type the letter B, make it a little bit bigger on my screen. And the font that I'll be using for this one is Hofler. And this is the font right here. So I'll click that and I'll just make this a little bit bigger on my screen. And so what you wanna do is to create a square. And again, I am going to duplicate this square a couple of times because we will need multiple. So unlock your square and then change the size to be a rectangle and then layer it over your letter. And for this, it doesn't matter if it's in the middle or not, or if it's in the middle, um, you know, from horizontally, we just want it to be in the middle of your letter so that it can cut out really nicely. And so then you will select your rectangle and your letter and then click slice. So I'll just move this over and then get rid of this excess. And so then what I like to do is to just put this, I'm gonna send this to the front, put this over one part so that I can slice it again. And so this allows me to move this down some because at first it was just one piece that was attached. And so what I wanna do next, and I guess I don't need three, I just need two of these. So what I wanna do is to make that smaller. And I wanna bring it out to the tail of the top. So I'll stretch that out and I'll delete that and just create a duplicate of this. Um, so do those two. And then I will select both of these rectangles, go up top and then um, center horizontally. And I do that, I don't include my back piece because I want to make sure that these two are center, okay? And so once I do that, then I will select these two pieces and bring them down a little bit more to create more space. And then I will select everything and then click weld. So obviously you can change the color of this if you want. And then I will just type in my name, bird. But I wanna use a different font for this. So I'll just use Arial for this. And just bring it in here. Okay, and so then it may look a little small or squished in. So I will then change the letter spacing to space it out a little bit more. Move it over some, and there you go. Thanks for watching.